As alloy head casting technology has become more readily accessible, the cost of aftermarket replacement cylinder heads has fallen dramatically. And while the range has expanded and the technology used to create them has improved, there are still gains to be made over these standard castings through CNC head porting. We thought we'd check out the locally produced cylinder head innovation 3V heads on a 451 cubic inch Dart Windsor and test them back to back with off the shelf T-Rex CNC ported heads from affordable racing parts to determine whether the hype was backed up with facts and value for money. You can get the full specs of the engine and heads in issue 88 of Extreme Magazine or issue 92 of Street Forge Magazine. So, would the extra thousand dollars be worth it? We headed down to Trick and Mean Sweeto Racing to find out. First up we've got is a out of the box 208 CHI Cleveland head, uh, 3V. We've got it set at max valve lift, which we've got about 700, 750 thou at the moment, just as a baseline to show everybody the difference in flow for the cylinder heads. And we'll do this one first, and then we'll do the T-Rex head, and then we'll do our own design, um, and show you the difference between the flow versus the airspeed of the port. So I'll get the machine turned on. As you can see, we're around about 300 CFM on this standard head out of the box. Now I'm going to go to the airspeed. Okay, as I thought for a standard head, you can see it's flying around about 305 CFM. The port cannot accept anything as small as this device plugged into the port. I lose flow. Uh, the port airspeed in feet per second, we're at 300 CFM and we're at 400 feet per second in airspeed. To me, that's a little bit fast um, to make power. So it's good for a, a low RPM cylinder head, something that'll probably finish making power at 62 to 6500. Um, but we'll get it on the dyno and we'll see what it's like and see how much power it makes. And then we'll do the same thing with the T-Rex brand and we'll do the same thing with our own design. Final result for the Cylinder Head Innovations 3V heads was 661 horsepower and 598 foot pounds of torque. As predicted, power started to fall over at 6300 RPM. They showed excellent results out of the box and proved they are cheaper and easier than porting iron heads and provide more power. Okay, here we are with the second set of cylinder heads to be tested. This is the T-Rex version of the CHI head that we've had supplied. Um, visually I can see, obviously it's, it's a, a bigger cylinder head than the 208. Um, it appears that it started off as a 208 casting. Um, the exhaust valves are the same size as the 208 out of the cast head, but the intake valve is a lot bigger. So we'll um, fire up the bench and see what numbers we can get and check airspeed and compare it to our 208. As you can see, we've got flow figures around 375 CFM, which is a very good cylinder head for a 3V. I'm quite surprised actually that it flows that much. Um, it is a reasonably small port by the looks of it. It's not as big as other versions of the cylinder head I have seen. Um, and airspeed is around the 320 to 340 mark in most areas, um, which from previous experience would show me that that cylinder head should run to around 7,000 RPM to 7,200 RPM um, with a normal single manifold, single carburetor. Um, and as you can tell by entering the ball into the front of the port and anywhere, I cannot put that ball in the port and hold the flow figures at where it was at. It wants to lose all the time, which sort of shows me that the cylinder head is a perfect size um, for the amount of air it's passing. So it's pretty cool. Let's get her on the dyno and see how she goes.
Okay, first pull on the dyno. Saw it made 706 horsepower and about 588 foot-pounds. That's about 50, 60 horsepower more than the first set of heads. The boys are just going to give it a bit more timing and uh, grab the actual dyno a bit lower and have another go. Okay, second run there, we made 745 horsepower. That's up from 706. The first engine, with the standard CHI heads, unported, made 650 horse. When we gave it a bit of extra timing, even with those heads, it still didn't respond well uh, with it more, to make more power. Uh, so with these heads, the T-Rex ones, which are ported, they've got a bigger chamber volume and so on, it actually responded a lot better to the timing change, increasing from 706 to 745. Okay, the guys have added one more degree of timing to the engine. Let's see how much power she makes now. Okay, the guys uh, just made 742 horsepower, which is virtually the same as the 745, even with that extra one degree of timing. So, but they have discovered that it does need more fuel, so they're going to do a jet change. This carby here was also used on the standard head that were on before, and has, has not changed at all. So, a quick jet change now, and the boys will run it up again and see if we can find a bit more horsepower out of the engine. The final result was 746 horsepower and 615 foot-pounds of torque. As predicted, the power started to fall over at 7200 RPM. Overall, the T-Rex heads offered an 85 horsepower and 17 foot-pound of torque increase, also with an extra 1000 RPM to play with. Excellent results. Come to the conclusion from flow bench results to dyno that whilst we have a great product here in a standard out of the box cylinder head, um, with small amounts of money paid for a CNC ported version of the cylinder head, we have a lot better product in the end result. Overall, with the flow it's got and the low exhaust port, it's worked out to be a pretty all right head. It's got my thumbs up. This typical engine with the standard style cylinder head on it, um, which it made 650. In, in the average Falcon, like XW or Wild, AB or C, 3,500 pound car, would probably run mid-10s, like 1050, 60s. And then with the ported version uh, T-Rex head, it um, made another 100 odd horsepower. You'd probably run bottom 10s with that engine in the Falcon and be able to drive it all day, every day as well. As an added bonus, we also tested one of the Trick and Mansuito racing development heads, designed and CNC'd in-house. This is our cylinder head, so at 380 CFM we're flowing roughly 350 to 370 um, feet per second in airspeed. We've found that anywhere from 350 to 380 is sort of the maximum airspeed you want to see. Um, if you see any more, the engine seems to want to lay over a little bit early, so... Okay, second run there with the um, Trigger Man Sweeto heads. The guys made 782 horsepower and 621 foot-pounds. The difference being with, compared to the T-Rex heads was uh, 746 horsepower and 615 foot-pounds. So they picked up a bit of foot-pound, but more importantly, the, a whole bunch of horsepower. So the Trigger Man Sweeto CNC ported uh, higher exhaust port head is actually a winner and actually can give you a lot more horsepower. Okay, if you remember back, the uh, first engine, or well, the same engine, but the first set of heads, the standard heads, the CHIs, didn't want to take any extra timing to make more power. The T-Rex heads took three extra degrees of timing and they actually made more power. So with these development set of heads that Trigger Man Suido have on this engine now, they're going to try, add a bit more timing and see if they can make a bit more power. Right, 
boys added uh, two degrees of timing and it made 775, so it was down from 782 horsepower. They decided to take out four degrees of timing and it actually went up in horsepower and went 789. The runs you've just seen were on uh, Shell Optimax fuel, 98. Now, the boys are gonna throw a bit of Rue 16, the VP fuel here, in there and hopefully make a bunch more horsepower and also add some more timing to it and see how the engine responds. All right, the guy's just done the first run on the, the Roo fuel, the VP racing fuel. It uh, picked up from six, 790 horsepower up to 803, and also picked up the foot pound from 626 up to 643. So that's with the engine back to back from the previous. The only change was the fuel, and now the boys are gonna put a bit of timing into it to see if they can pick up that horsepower and talk even further. All right, the guys added two degrees of timing and it only made a tiny bit more horsepower, but the average horsepower overall was nicer over the whole curve. For more in-depth results, as well as cylinder head specifications and details of the test engine, check out the full feature in issue 88 of Extreme Magazine or issue 92 of Street Forwards Magazine. Available from all leading news agents or online.